deadly fires. People were killed in three separate cases and a fourth fire left a home in ruins. Alan Campbell is here right now to explain where the homes went up in flames overnight and over the weekend. Alan. Well, Carolyn, one of those homes actually was destroyed in Madison Heights early this morning. We're told everyone inside was able to make it out of that house safely. Madison Heights and Royal Oak fire crews responded. We're told a man and his mother and son all lived inside that home. The man and his mother were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation, all as a precaution. The man's son is now staying with a relative. We're told there were oxygen tanks also found inside that home. In Livonia, fire crews say a 78-year-old woman died in a house fire on the 29,000 block of Grove. Firefighters received the call around 1045 Sunday night. Four people inside managed to get out of that house safely. An autopsy is expected later today to determine the cause of death. Fire investigators are still trying to determine a cause. And over the weekend in East Point, three children were killed after the home they were in caught fire. Firefighters received that call around 5.30 Saturday morning. Officers say the children were home alone when the fire started on Juliana. That's near 8 Mile and Gratiot. The children were just 4, 8, and 9 years old. On Sunday morning, Southfield firefighters responded to a home on or home at Greenbrook Park Homes. The battalion chief says they received the call around 5 a.m. from neighbors who said an older woman lived in the house with her child. Firefighters tried to rescue that woman, but it was too late. We're told the woman's child managed to escape through a second story window. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused this one. Carolyn. Hopefully they can get to the bottom of it. Thank you so much, Alan.